This video provides an introduction to the Exabeam Security Management Platform. This demonstration has three parts, threat investigation in a legacy SIM, threat investigation in a modern SIM, incident response in a modern SIM. A SIM is a security information and event management solution. Before providing a demonstration of the Exabeam SIM, it can be helpful to understand the shortcomings of legacy SIMs and how Exabeam is different. With a legacy SIM, security management usually follows a process like this. Logs are ingested and centralized into a SIM. Then a security alert fires, either from a security tool or from a fact-based correlation rule. Next, a security analyst investigates the alert by querying their SIM to gather evidence and build an incident timeline. Once the timeline is built, the analyst will know the scope and impact of the incident. Finally, the analyst responds to the incident by taking corrective action in the appropriate systems. Let's see what this looks like in practice. The following is a simulation of threat hunting using legacy SIM capabilities, but illustrated with the Exabeam platform. This is Exabeam Data Lake, a security data lake which provides unlimited log storage in search for a flat, predictable price. Data Lake ingests logs from hundreds of data sources into a central repository for threat detection and investigation. When investigating a malware incident in their SIM, analysts usually start with a query. In this example, the analyst is looking for barbarian malware. They search for it using a database query. After entering the query, the results of that query quickly populates the screen. There are three key pieces of information that any security analyst needs when they investigate the user involved, the host name, and the IP address of that host. This log has the IP and host, but not the username. The analyst will want to understand which user is infected with malware to determine if their credentials have been stolen or used to access other systems. To do so, the analyst now needs to adjust their search query in order to find the user information. One way to accomplish this is to add the IP and host name as attributes to the query. The query results show relevant security alerts and event logs, such as endpoint activities and VPN logins. Scrolling down a little further, the analyst can see the source IP and the username in a VPN login event. At this point, the analyst might want to know more about the source IP. For example, what is the geolocation of this IP address? And is it normal for the user to log in from this location? The analyst copies the VPN source IP and the username fweber to a notepad to investigate further. In a legacy SIM, a notepad application is often used to record pertinent pieces of evidence gathered by the analyst. The analyst now adds the username as a field in the search query to expand the search results to look for additional unusual activity. It is important to note that the analyst is only searching across a short time frame. However, breaches often last weeks or months. To be thorough, the analyst should search over a longer time period, potentially covering millions of events. Running such a query could be time-consuming because most legacy SIMs have extremely slow search times when faced with large quantities of data. In the search results, there are many activities for FWeber after the VPN login. Most of this activity looks normal. Rather than scrolling through all of the events, the analyst decides to focus on endpoint processes to zero in on the barbarian malware. Many of the processes in the list look normal, for example, winlogon.exe, conhost.exe, and chrome.exe. But there are also some unfamiliar processes, including barbarian.jar, vssadmin.exe, and bcdedit.exe. The analyst copies the names of these processes into their notepad with the intention of checking to see if anyone else in the organization has ever run these processes. The analyst then scrolls down to review the web activity logs in order to look for additional anomalies. Among the normal results, the analyst finds an unusual domain name. Again, the analyst copies the suspicious domain names to a notepad for later inspection. Of the multiple items on their list that need investigation, the analyst decides to look into the VSS admin process. 
The analyst refines the search using the process name field and looks for vssadmin.exe. The search returns two results, F. Weber and a new user, S. Lee. The analyst copies S. Lee to their notepad for further investigation. At this point, the investigation is becoming both tedious and complex. It now involves multiple users, processes, and network connections. As we can see, in a situation like this, it is hard for an analyst to quickly and fully scope an incident. This is what analysts struggle with day in and day out. The analyst's threat hunting exercise is typical of the challenges that security teams have with legacy SIMs. The list of challenges includes excessive logging fees from volume-based pricing models, an inability to detect unknown threats because of their reliance on correlation rules and a high rate of false positives. Missed distributed attacks, which are attacks that spread across different credentials, devices, and IP addresses. Time-consuming manual investigations and incident response procedures. The good news is that Exabeam has built a smart SIM that addresses these issues. It has a flat user-based pricing so SOC analysts can log all the data they need for analysis. It uses behavioral analytics to detect known and unknown threats. It automatically tracks lateral movement and creates machine-built timelines to speed up investigations. Finally, it automates incident response with security orchestration and response playbooks. Let's take a look at how Exabeam's smarter SIM can detect, investigate, and respond to the same malware incident in a more efficient way. Exabeam provides a single pane of glass for analysts to detect threats, perform investigations, or respond to incidents. The Exabeam Advanced Analytics dashboard shows the highest risk users and entities in an environment without subjecting analysts to an overwhelming amount of alerts. These are referred to as notable users and notable assets, respectively. Analysts can also use this screen to create watch lists for sensitive assets and users, for example, company executives or machines that recently had a malware infection. From the dashboard, analysts can see the incidents in their queue. This analyst has already been assigned a new incident regarding a notable user named Frederick Weber. Frederick has a high risk score of 237. To investigate Frederick, the analyst simply needs to click Frederick's name. To provide the analyst with context, Exabeam displays information about the user in question, such as their usernames, title, peer groups, geographic regions, and more. Exabeam also dynamically assigns users to peer groups based on behavior. Here are the peer groups that Frederick is associated with. These groups can be static, such as those found in Active Directory, or dynamically built using machine learning based on groups of users that have similar behavior as Frederick. The User Details screen also shows analysts any active incidents associated with the user. Scrolling down a bit further shows how Frederick's risk score has trended over time. Each dot on the graph represents a smart timeline, which contains all of the activity a user performed from log on to log off, stitched together into a machine-created timeline. The analyst can select a specific timeline to zero in on activity from that time period. Here, the analyst can easily see all of Frederick's risky activities within this time period, including an explanation of why these activities were deemed risky and the associated level of risk. A timeline view is also available to help the analyst better understand the sequence of events that unfolded. This is an Exabeam Smart Timeline. Smart timelines automatically stitch together user and device behavior into easy-to-absorb narratives. These timelines reduce the time and specialization required to investigate threats. Smart timelines are simple to read. Information is presented in chronological order. The timestamp of a specific activity is shown on the left. The second column shows analysts the activity that was taken at that time. 
The third column shows an analyst why an activity was anomalous. Not all activity is abnormal, so there are often cases where the third column is empty. When an anomaly is found, there is risk applied to the user or entity. The fourth column shows the risk score added because of that anomaly. The first event the analyst sees in Frederick's timeline is a VPN login from the United States. While this is normal activity for Frederick, the analyst can see there is risk being transferred from past sessions. Transferring risky behavior across sessions allows Exabeam to catch low and slow attacks that develop over a longer time frame. If needed, the analyst is also able to see the underlying parsed log for every event in the timeline. Scrolling down a bit further in the timeline, the analyst can see Frederick accessing Conhost, Chrome, and Windows Authentication, amongst other activity. Exabeam has determined that this is all normal behavior for Frederick. At 11.20 a.m., the first anomaly in Frederick's timeline appears. It's the first time he has ever accessed a domain in China. It's also the first time across the entire organization anyone has accessed this domain. How does Exabeam know this? Exabeam provides analysts with the data models it's built behind the scenes. This specific model shows all of the domains that Frederick has accessed from the environment in the past. Exabeam builds these behavioral models from every interaction with the IT environment for each and every user and asset in the organization. Returning to the timeline, the analyst can see that shortly after Frederick visited the risky domain, the barbarian.jar process is executed on his endpoint machine. Exabeam added five points of risk to Frederick's risk score for this process being run out of an unusual location. Without behavioral modeling, knowing what processes are run from which folders typically takes a fairly seasoned security analyst. Additional risk is added because this is the first time Frederick has ever run this barbarian.jar process, and also this is the first time any of his peers have run that process. Exabeam has already flagged VSS Admin, a suspicious process execution run, and so that adds 20 points of risk to the score. Investigating threats using Exabeam smart timelines provides greatly improved analyst productivity. Let's take a quick look at how Exabeam can do the same thing for attacks that involve lateral movement. This is Barbara's timeline. Barbara is an HR coordinator out of the Chicago office. An incident has been automatically created for her because she is exhibiting a high degree of abnormal behavior. Barbara's machine has been infected with malware, and this timeline shows the attacker's activity during that time frame. At 5.31 a.m., we see the attacker move laterally by performing a credential switch, moving from Barbara's credentials to a service account. This adds 40 points of risk. Then, Barbara accesses a SQL server with privileged service account. She then accesses payroll database and selects all payroll data. Finally, the hacker returns to Barbara's credentials and sends the data out of the organization. This sets off a large outbound traffic alert from Palo Alto Networks, further raising her risk score. In this example, we see how smart timelines make short work of incident investigation even if the attack moves laterally through a change of credential, IP address, or device. This saves analysts time and frees them up to do higher value work. Exabeam contains a fully customizable case management system that is baked directly into all detection, investigation, and response workflows. Analysts can manually create incidents, however, the system will automatically open cases for all notable users and assets. For example, Frederick's case already exists and is in the analyst's work queue. In the case management detail screen, analysts are able to see all information related to an incident. This includes things like evidence collected, risk reasons, status, priorities, and more. If an analyst wishes to work on the incident, they can do so programmatically from the workbench. Exabeam includes hundreds of pre-built actions that analysts can take to investigate, contain, or mitigate an incident as part of their response efforts.
Analysts can also run groups of actions at once via a playbook. These playbooks automate response efforts and greatly improve analyst productivity. For example, if the analyst wants to investigate the barbarian malware, they can simply run the out-of-the-box malware playbook. In the workbench, Exabeam automates incident response via API calls to third-party IT and security tools. In this case, it's performing an in-depth investigation into the malware on F. Weber's machine. The Actions pane shows the actions being taken by the system. As actions are completed, the results are made available on cards to the right. This playbook analyzed the malware via several sandbox and reputation services. It shows what additional processes were run, what network connections were made, and the domain reputation and risk scores of the IP addresses of those connected. It also made a summary report and updated the case management data with new evidence. Exabee makes it easy for analysts of all skill levels to create playbooks and automate tasks without the need to understand any scripting languages like Python. Exabeam provides out-of-the-box playbooks to handle many common incidents SOC analysts face on a daily basis. Analysts can also create their own playbooks via a visual playbook editor. Playbooks can be used to program logic and even feed the output from one action to another action. This makes it easy to automate any task regardless of its complexity. Exabeam ships with hundreds of pre-built integrations to popular applications like Symantec, Okta, Carbon Black, VirusTotal, Palo Alto Networks, and more, which can be leveraged to run actions and build playbooks. Exabeam provides analysts with a smarter, more productive way to work. This frees up analysts to perform higher value work like threat hunting. While threat hunting in Exabeam, analysts leverage a simple point-and-click interface to easily make complex queries. There is no need to learn a proprietary search query language. Instead, analysts simply string together conditions from the available menus to make the search criteria. Analysts can also search for tactics, techniques, and procedures (TTPs) rather than just indicators of compromise (IOCs). For example, an analyst can search for something like abnormal access to an internet IP or abnormal account switch for user. Unlike traditional SIMs that return events logs as results, Exabeam returns entire smart timelines. This allows analysts to easily interpret the results and quickly review anything suspicious they uncover. The Exabeam Security Management Platform provides a suite of solutions that span data collection, threat detection, and incident response. Data Lake allows you to ingest and search unlimited logs for a flat price. Cloud connectors provide pre-built connectors to bring in log data from popular cloud services. Advanced Analytics and Entity Analytics provide behavior-based threat detection. Threat Hunter provides point-and-click threat hunting that returns smart timelines as search results. Case Manager organizes response efforts, including incident status, owner, priority, and evidence. Finally, Incident Responder provides security orchestration and response playbooks to automate incident response. Thanks for listening. To learn more, visit exabeam.com.